Welcome to Fanatics Live, where we virtually connect you with your favorite stars and athletes right at home. Tonight, we will be meeting with fans, signing autographs, and engaging in live Q&A. Now, let's welcome our host. Welcome to another episode of Fanatics Live. I'm your host, MC, bringing your favorite athletes and stars to you right at home. Be sure to leave comments and show love from wherever you're watching for a chance to have it featured on the broadcast. Before we get started, I want to let you know that tonight's show is brought to you by the Fan Cash Rewards card by Fanatics. As a Fan Cash Rewards card holder, you receive benefits and perks, including access to unforgettable experiences with athletes. You'll earn 6% Fan Cash on every purchase, exclusive deals, offers, and much more. Today's guest established himself quickly as one to watch during his four years as starting quarterback at Texas A&M, finishing his career with over 9,600 passing yards and over 1,600 yards rushing. He was drafted as the 66th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft to the Minnesota Vikings, and we are lucky enough to sit down with him today to learn about his transition so far in Minnesota, what he's looking forward to most in the coming season, and we'll hear about how the state of Texas developed him as a player and a person. Let's give a warm fanatic slide welcome to the newest quarterback to the Vikings roster, number 11, Kellen Mond. Hey, Kellen. Hello, appreciate you for having me. Yeah, no, we're happy to have you on. How's your day been so far doing that autograph signing back there? Uh, it, it was smooth. Uh, you know, you got Texas A&M helmets behind me, you know, Minnesota Vikings helmets. So um, two truly amazing programs and, you know, definitely uh, proud of what I was able to do at A&M and, um, super excited to see what I can do with the Minnesota Vikings. Awesome. And I like that you're repping the jersey today. That is just 100%. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, so before I turn it over to some of our guests who are going to participate today, I want to ask you a few interview questions, if you're cool with that. Of course. Let's get to know you a little bit more. <laughs> so, like you said, Texas A&M, great program, but you were leaning really closely towards Baylor when you were searching to – where, where you were going to play, what college you were going to go to. So what ultimately led you to the decision to go with the Aggies and play for Texas A&M? Uh, well, whenever I was committed to Baylor, uh, Coach Art Browse, he had got fired, and that's when I decommitted from Baylor. And, um, you know, I was just kind of open my recruitment up, and, um, you know, I always kind of knew that I kind of wanted to stay in Texas. You know, it would, you know, make it pretty easy for my family to come see me. Mm -hmm. uh, and so just kind of that easy transition. And, you know, at the time I was already at IMG Academy. So um, going back to Texas, it only made it even easier for me to be able to live, you know, even right. closer to my parents. So um, another SEC school um, and, you know, being able to play four years and uh, definitely saw that hard work in that transition for me. And, um, you know, now I'm a Minnesota Viking. Yeah, it definitely paid off. So a&M and Minnesota Vikings are both known for having particularly crazy, loud, passionate fans. Yeah. So what are you looking forward to most, especially after, you know, the delays and the hiatus of not playing? Um, what are you looking forward to most about being in front of like a really intense uh, crowd of fans again? No, I think the biggest thing is learning the new tra uh, traditions and mm -hmm. you know, especially being able to interact. Um, and see what, uh, you know, how loud they are um, and what type of energy they have at the games. And um, obviously everyone knows and everyone speaks about the Texas A&M fans and the traditions that they have down at Kyle Field. And so, uh, you know, being able to play for two amazing fan bases and being able to see, um, you know, go for one amazing fan base in college and then another one in the NFL is, you know, you, do, you can't really beat that. So I'm, no. I'm really blessed. Yeah, seriously. Let's, let's just take the 12th man and like maybe multiply it times two and Minnesota. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what they got. That'll be fun. Yeah. So you talked about Texas. I've never been to Texas. I've heard it's just a country of its own. But you grew up in San Antonio and you moved just a little bit north to College Station. Uh, you know, so your body's pretty used to that warm Texas weather. Uh, have you been getting any tips or anything from coaches on how, how you transition into playing in the cold? Um, you know, I've asked a lot of people and, you know, I, I primarily try to ask guys who have lived here their whole life. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, you have a, a bunch of Minnesota guys or even guys who grew up up north and, you know, they basically say, you know, you'll never get used to it. So then these are guys who, uh, you know, have lived here and played football, um, you know, in Minnesota their whole entire life. So, you know, I think it comes to a point where, you know, at the end of the day, it's football. This is your job. And no matter what, you got to get the job done. 
Dang. All right. Well, that's, I guess, not encouraging for them to say you never get used to it. They've been doing it their whole lives. You're coming from hot Texas. So yeah. we wish you the best of luck. Um, when I watch you on TV, I'll be praying for you. Like, I hope his hands are warm. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. But the season will be here before you know it. I am done with my couple of questions at the top of the show. And we are going to have some people who submitted <clears throat> videos on social media of questions they want to ask you. And we also have some fans who are dialed backstage that are ready to meet you live virtually, but we live in a virtual world now. So nothing new yeah. here. We're going to kick things off with Timothy. All right. Hey, Kellen, it was a lot of fun watching you play football at Texas A&M, but I was wondering what is your favorite memory from playing football at Reagan High School in San Antonio? Best of luck to you and the Minnesota Vikings this upcoming fall. God bless. Ooh, my, my best high school memory. <laughs> uh, wow, that's pretty tough. Uh, that's tough. I team, know, you got to you gotta go back. Got to go back in the, the time warp here. Um, you know, I think uh, just being able to kind of interact with teammates and, you know, those are kind of the people who I grew up with, uh, went through elementary school, middle school, and then high school with. So, um, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say there's a set moment, um, but, you know, obviously football is, you know, my, my love. And so anytime I was able to go out on the field and, you know, see how I was able to grow each and every year, um, you know, that's that's truly what I live for. Yeah, 100 percent. It's it's different being able to play with the guys that you grew up with, but mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll yeah. be uh, just as blown away being able to play with guys that can teach you so much and yeah. uh, those vets in the league. Up next, we have Hannah. She's calling in from San Ramon, California. So we're, we're getting people from all over today on the show. Awesome. Her go-to concession stand items are chicken tenders and fries, a classic. I appreciate that. <laughs> and her piece of advice to live by would be to don't sweat the small stuff. So let's bring on Hannah and see what she wants to ask. Hi, Kellen. <laughs> Hello, Hannah. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Um, so my question for you is what is something that you have learned as how you view your career um, moving forward after 15 months, 15 months of being in the pandemic and what is something that you're looking forward to now that we're out of the pandemic? Mm -hmm. uh, so I think one of the biggest things is to truly love yourself. And um, I think part of that is um, one, me being able to grow um, and just uh, be my biggest self-critic and, you know, on the field and, you know, in football, but also, you know, off the field. And, um, you know, I was able to make a, a lot of changes within my life um, during quarantine, which I actually call my retreat now. Um, you know, that was my, re my retreat. Um, so I was able to make a lot of changes, really self-reflect and then go out on the field and, um, you know, have an amazing season and, you know, even uh, be huge and, you know, activism off the field. So, um, you know, that was definitely a uh, one of my biggest advice is to truly, truly love yourself and be able to make decisions for yourself. And, you know, I think the biggest thing that I'm most excited about is uh, basically a whole new chapter of my life. And, uh, you know, I just actually moved up to Minnesota today officially. Um, so, yeah, so I'm, you know, born and raised in Texas. You know, I've lived in Florida for a little bit, but um, lived in Texas pretty much my whole life. So um, living in Minnesota is a whole new transition. And, um, just being able to learn a whole new playbook and be around a whole new uh, organization. That's that's what I'm excited for. That sounds awesome. I went to school for college at uh, Northwestern in Chicago, so I definitely agree that it's going to take some time to get used to. Uh, <laughs> I definitely get some uh, hats, some beanies, some like, you know, nice coats. But I definitely agree that um, loving yourself is incredibly important. So thank you for yeah, that. that. That was a great question. No I love I love the nice spin of it wasn't quarantine. There wasn't a pandemic. It was just my personal retreat that I got to work exactly. on myself for 15 exactly. months. I like that. Exactly. All right. Well, let's get that mini helmet signed for Hannah oh. so she can add this to her collection. So we're getting to Hannah best wishes. Thank you. I appreciate you, Hannah. That's awesome. Thank you as well. Look Thank forward you, to Hannah. seeing you then. Bye-bye. Awesome. All right. Up next, Marissa has been on our show before. She has submitted questions. She has a, an awesome take on this draft and she wants to talk to these new players who are entering the league. So we're going to okay. send it over to Marissa to see what she wants to ask you. Awesome. Hi, Kellen. My name is Marissa. I'm from New York. Congrats on being drafted. 
My question for you is, what have you learned so far from quarterback Kirk Cousins? Mm, good question. Um, you know, I think the number one thing, and, you know, I think there's always this weird stigma that, you know, veteran quarterbacks, you know, they don't really want to help out younger guys. But, I mean, I think he's truly been a mentor and, you know, just I think his accountability, um, you know, within uh, the whole entire offense, within the whole organization and, you know, his ability to want to grow. And, you know, that's something that I kind of feed off of and, you know, certain things that I was able to learn in college. And, you know, I see the same thing. And obviously it's no surprise that he's able to get to where he is at today. And um, so, you know, we're able to have conversations and I'm able to learn, um, you know, the, the way he learns. Um, I'm able to uh, kind of mimic certain things that he does and, you know, use cadences. And you know, I, I can get into a whole another football talk, but, uh, you know, I think he's uh, truly been a great mentor. And, you know, I only look forward to continue to learn from him as the season goes on. That's great. That's great that he's keeping that open line of communication and helping the team get better as a whole. I think mm -hmm. it's very reflective of how a team is successful. Okay. So. We're not done with our live guests. We have so many girls on this call today. I love it. We have another lady calling in. Uh, we have Rachel. She's calling in from Tampa, Florida. And she said, it's hard not to be a fan of yours when you're one of three to put up the stats that you did in your college career. It's just very easy to cheer for you. And the first jersey she ever owned was an Auburn jersey, which I know we shouldn't talk about some SEC rivalries, but she just wanted me to tell you, War Eagle. So I'm going to hand it on over to Rachel. <laughs> Hey, Kellen. I know that there's Hello, a Rachel. little bit of a rivalry there. Um, my question for you is, how have your past experiences helped bring you to where you are today? So what are some major experiences from your past careers that you have felt that have influenced you to the position that you have currently? Uh, you know, I think with me, uh, it really started with it, how I dealt with adversity and, you know, some of the, some of the things that I dealt with um, even back in middle school and, and high school, um, where I was able to kind of learn from those, um, you know, how I dealt with those certain adverse moments and hardships, and I was able to um, correct those whenever I got to college. So whenever I was dealt hardships or um, dealt certain situations, I was, e I was you know, pretty much easily um, able to make uh, decisions uh, for the betterment of my career and myself on and off the field. And so, uh, you know, I look back and, you know, so many, so many different situations where, um, you know, I felt like if I didn't have those certain things that happened to me whenever I was a young kid, um, you know, I'm not necessarily sure how I would have handled them, you know, uh, you know, as I got to college. So, um, you know, certain hardships whenever I was young, um, you know, definitely made me that the man that I am today. Wow. I mean, that's that's really interesting. And then I guess what are some exercises or some skills that you're looking to improve on for the upcoming season that you're working towards? Uh, you know, I think just continue to learn um, the mental game. And, you know, I think everyone always talks about how the NFL becomes a little bit of a step faster. And, you know, um, I played in the SEC and we always talk about how fast it is. But, you know, even just my first couple of days and, you know, getting used to practices in the NFL, you definitely um, you definitely see it, it is faster. And so um, I think just getting acclimated to the speed and really just being able to trust yourself and play with 100% confidence is, you know, my biggest thing and something that I'm going to continue to work on. Awesome questions, Rachel. Those were great. Good reflective questions. I love it. We're going to go ahead and get that mini helmet signed for her. This one's a personalized piece to add to your collection, Rachel. We hope you love it. We will. Thank, Thank you, Rachel. So Thank, Thank you. you. Great. All right. We're not done. Kevin's on the line. He's just a football fan in general, and he is going to end the meet and greet section of tonight's show. Let's get it, Kevin. Hi, Kellen. My name is Kevin Welsh, and I'm from Wolverham, Massachusetts. Congratulations on your recent selection by the Minnesota Vikings in the NFL draft. I wish you a fantastic career. As a big college football fan, my question for you is, what was your favorite part of game day at Texas A&M? Thanks so much. Oh, my favorite part? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I, will, I actually have two, so I'll give them okay. two. Okay. Uh, you know, I think one, uh, walking off the bus, and you know we have our literally every single fan, probably every single one that fills up the whole entire stadium, uh, you know, waiting outside of our bus. So I think just the energy from the fans, you know, the band and um, – 
uh, just really just the fans are just ridiculous down there. Um, so that's one. And then I think just being able to run out the tunnel. And, oh, yeah. You know, I think you, know, you realize that, you know, you only run out of the tunnel around, you know, six, seven times a year, you know, seven home games. Mm-hmm. So, you know, every single moment uh, you have to be able to cherish it. And so I definitely cherish every moment. I will say I'm a fellow SEC girl. I wasn't, I wasn't going to give that up to you too soon. I went to Ole Miss, but I will say anytime Texas A&M played us at home, it was the most fun, nicest fans, nicest yeah, yeah. people. And it didn't, I knew we had a game to play, but I really didn't care who won. It was just like <laughs> a really fun weekend, no matter what, if Texas A&M was in town. I loved it. Yeah, it was definitely fun. Great fans. And, you know, you, know, you hear different fans and getting in scuffles, but I mean, I think we respect everybody. Yeah, y'all, y'all play pretty clean. I like it. I like it. Okay, we're uh, we're not done yet. We're going to do some rapid fire questions. That's when I drop the hammer. But before I do that, we are going to take a short break to hear a word from our sponsor. Introducing the Fan Cash Rewards Credit Card by Fanatics. Earn 6% Fan Cash when you shop with your card on Fanatics.com with exclusive cardholder perks and six months special financing on purchases of $150 or more. Text now to apply or go to fanatics.com. Today's show is brought to you by the Fan Cash Rewards card by Fanatics. You can text fan events to 94323 to apply to your card today, or you can head on over to fanatics.com to learn more information. All right, back, back to me in my intense mode. We're going to finish the show out with some good rapid fire. So rules of the show, first thing that pop in your mind, don't think. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Favorite pro team outside of football? San Antonio Spurs. Hmm. Player you looked up to most growing up? Andre Johnson. Good one. A, your go-to cheat meal? Uh, I don't really cheat meals. Uh, well, Come on, nobody's so. that tough. I'm pescatarian, so I don't. Uh, it used to be like chicken. That was like my cheat meal. Um, like my cheat meal would basically be salmon now. So I love oh. salmon, but it's, I don't know. If that's really a cheat meal. Like a I, I, I usually got a, I usually got a sweet tooth, so, I, okay. so maybe I can say like brownies are my cheat meal. There we go. There I like we brownies. go. I knew I would get to a good answer there. <laughs> a video game you spend the most time playing. Uh, I actually play no video games now, but I used to be addicted to Fortnite. Used to be. Yeah. Everybody, to. he overcame his addiction to Fortnite. Let's congratulate Kellen in the comments. <laughs> Congratulations. I've heard that's hard. I've heard it's hard to get over. No, oh, it's difficult. <laughs> what sport in the Olympics would you want to compete in? I would definitely run track. I'd run the 400. Yeah. You'd smoke them? Smoke them. <laughs> All right. Who is on your warm-up playlist? J. Cole. I kind of knew that would be your answer. So we're going to go into some J. Cole trivia. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Where was J. Cole born? Frankfurt, Germany. Dang, you do know your stuff. All right. (laughs) Ding, ding, ding. We'll add that in the edit later. Congratulations. You got that right. Uh, Disney or Nickelodeon? Disney. Ooh, that's tough. Disney. I, yeah, I, can I relate to you there. I relate. Your favorite road trip snack? Like, if you're getting in the car and you got to stop at the gas station, what are you getting when you get in the car? Uh, I like Takis. Oh, yes. Those are some quality. That's a quality snack. Yeah, that's a quality <laughs> snack. I agree. All right. This is of the time. NBA Finals prediction. Who's taking it? Who's taking the championship? Um, the Phoenix Suns. Chris Paul is going to get his first ring. I know. How beautiful would that be? It would just be beautiful. Yeah, it definitely would. <laughs> he's playing. It's, he's playing the best right now, so it's it's only it's only right. Yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed for CP3. I think he got it. I think he's got it. All right. Well, that is the end of today's show. You were an awesome guest. I'm so glad I got to meet you. I'm glad our fans got to talk with you and ask you some questions, but. Before we're done, I just want to give you the floor if you want to say anything to your fans watching along, to your new Vikings uh, community, I'll let you have the final word. Awesome. Well, first, I appreciate y'all for having me. Uh, definitely an awesome event. Uh, you know, I'm glad I can finally put on a, a Vikings jersey before I actually get in the stadium. 
I want to say thank you to all the fans uh, who are able to be here, but also um, able to watch this. Um, you know, I'm truly blessed to go to Texas A&M and uh, truly blessed to be drafted by the Minnesota Vikings and, uh, you know, can't wait to get in U.S. Bank Stadium. Well, we're looking forward to it. Best of luck. I appreciate y'all. Bye, Kellen. We'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, everybody. I made the promise a while back we were going to bring you some of these NFL draft picks onto the show. And I feel like we've we followed up on that promise. So we've met with uh, Micah Parsons. We've met with Kellen. We've met with Trevor Lawrence. So if you want to watch any of our previous broadcasts, you can head on over to fanatics.com slash live where you can watch all of the shows we've done. You can also stay up to date on any new shows that are up in the schedule. So you can check there for updates as well as on social media at fanatics on Instagram. We post um, the shows that we have coming up and you can have an opportunity to submit your questions for your favorite athletes. So thank you all for watching. That's all the time we have today. Stay safe and good night.